Yet another team I do not have any merchandise for. This one is because I hate the Lakers. I'm a Celtics fan. Today we're going to do a squad builder for the all-time best players in Lakers history. Florida. Let's get the honorable mentions out of the way. Um, first we have Zelmo Beatty, who obviously does not have a card in the game. He is the only Hall of Famer uh, that we couldn't get on the team that qualified for this. He is a five-time All-Star, two-time All-ABA, and uh, played one season for the Lakers. Played 69 games, nice, in 1975 for his career was like a 17 and 11 player and Hall of Famer. Other guys that will not be included are Derek Williams, Brian Russell, Mo Lucas, Derek Harper, John Barry, my one of my favorite college players of all time, Thomas Robinson, Isaiah Ryder, John Sally, Andrew Bogut, Marshawn Brooks, uh, Michael Beasley just because he's on too many of the other teams, the Wall Dang because that was a horrible contract, um, Baby Zeke, Isaiah Thomas, Mr. Beat Your Bongas, Isaac Bonga, Isak Bonga, and Jerome Kersey, because I'm not buying that card back, but I wish I did still have him. Um, the other guys that aren't going to be in here are Jim Jackson and Lance Stevenson. I hope it actually comes out at midnight, though, because I'm going to be boost if I sleep and wake up to do a giant stream and then it doesn't work for like three hours. Starting point guard, it's going to be the last, uh, the last hurrah for, for Gary Payton. This is the last team he's eligible for. He was already on the Sword of Celtics and the Sword of Bucks. Um, he played in L.A. in the 2003-2004 season when they stacked the team and lost to the Pistons. Um, he started every single game of the season, didn't miss one, averaged 15 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds. It wasn't until he went to Miami that he kind of fell off a cliff for his career. He was 35 years old on the Lakers. And realistically should have been a huge key piece and them repeating for a fourth time. But uh, instead they didn't. So, Gary Dwayne Payton Sr. Who has two sons. Or Gary Payton II and Gary Payton Jr. And I, I love that. I love that about him. Starting shooting guard, we have one of the more um, controversial Hall of Famers ever. A lot of people don't think he deserved to be in the Hall of Fame because he didn't accomplish a ton. But he was a six-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA, and one-time All-Star MVP and also one Rookie of the Year, but it's Money Mitch Richmond. Um, the guy averaged 21 points, four rebounds, and three and a half assists a game for his entire career, which is 976 games. I mean, he was a really good player for a really long time, so whether you think he, he should have been a Hall of Famer or not, I mean, really good shooting splits, 46, 39, 85. Uh, really good player, really long time, but he won a championship in 2002 with the Lakers. 11 minutes a game, Four points, one assist, one and a half rebounds. He went from averaging 16 a game in 2001 to averaging four a game in 2002. So, I mean, the only team he's eligible for. Starting small forward, we got uh, Taco Dennis, uh, a.k.a. The Worm, a.k.a. Dennis the Menace, a.k.a. Rodzilla. Five-time champ, seven-time rebounding champ. The guy's insane. Everyone's seen The Last Dance. They know that Rodman's a loose cannon, but he'll be fun. And uh, they let him shoot threes in this game, which is hilarious. So, starting power forward, we got Carl Malone. Uh, second all-time scorer, averaged 25 and 10 for his entire career. Still averaged 13 and 9, like he was still a pretty serviceable player. But it was definitely the end of Carl Malone. I kind of hate that he went to the Lakers to chase a ring. He left Stockton. We don't like Carl Malone for a lot of reasons. Starting center, we have Brooke Lopez. Put up 13 points and 4 rebounds as a starting center on the Lakers. Never been a fan of how little Brook Lopez has rebounded over his career. Well, he's a 7-footer who for his career is a 17.6 rebound a game guy. Unfortunately, he's probably going to be our most serviceable uh, center on this team. Back up point guard, we have another Hall of Famer, Charlie Scott. 6'5 uh, point guard, the Laurenburg Institute that my brother played at. 5-time All-Star, 2-time All-ABA, 1-time Champ, and Rookie of the Year for his career. 20, 21 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds a game. Retired really young. Um, a lot of these guys seem to retire very young. So he was 31 uh, when he played his last games in Denver. Backup shooting guard, we have Karan Butler. Aside from Washington, had his best days on the Lakers. Put up 16 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists a game. Tough juice. So I've been avoiding putting Joe Smith on every team because I know that everyone loves Joe Smith. But he's just on so many of these sort of series teams. Uh, he played 12 games for the Lakers, and the reason that he's on this actually is that of every player that's eligible and in the game, 
Uh, he has the shortest Laker tenure, 39 or 40 minutes. Back up power forward, we have Antoine Cortez Jameson, uh, two-time All-Star, one-time sixth man of the year. After the Lakers, played 22 games, averaged four points. Antoine's one of those guys that was just really good for a really long time. For some reason, I always liked him. Our backup center, we have Rudy Gobert before Rudy Gobert. We got Roy Hibbert, two-time All-Star, one-time All-Defensive. Three years after he was the All-Defensive all player, uh, he was out of the league because he's obsolete. So for the Lakers, he played all 81 games, started every one of them, put up six points, five rebounds. Roy Hibbert, just not a remarkable player. 11th man, it's another another Jeremy Lin sighting. Had to put him on the roster because Kobe Bryant said he didn't know who he was, and then Jeremy Lin actually torched the Lakers, and it was awesome. He played one season on the Lakers, was not great. 11 points, five assists. 12th man, I just wanted to put Channing Fry in because he only played nine games. This card was one of the best cards early in the game and uh, it's the only one that Channing qualifies for. And fun fact is that Channing Fry was one of the first three people ever to follow me on Twitter. So I thought that was fun and I wanted to, I wanted to include that. But we got Channing Fry out here. And then lastly, we have 13th man. He's another Hall of Famer, Spencer Haywood. Uh, Five-time All-Star, four-time All-NBA, and the 1970 MVP in which he was actually the Rookie of the Year also, and was the All-Star Game MVP. So one of the most decorated seasons ever. Played for the Denver Rockets. Hands up if you knew that was a team. Then played most of his career with uh, the Seattle Supersonics and the New York Knicks. Played one season for the Lakers where he averaged 10 points, 5 rebounds. Another fun fact, he actually played 84 games in his rookie season in the ABA. Uh, and averaged 30 points and 20 rebounds. Incredible season for a 20-year-old. Yeah, here are the sort of Lakers. Um, we're going to use the disco ball because it's the Lakers and it just suits them. Let's get into a game. All right. So, we got the home court and we are, of course, in sort of series fashion. <clears throat> Gonna do our best to score with every player on the team. Okay, Gary Payton off the list. Let's get Charlie Scott in. Yeah, Nick, I think that is gonna be a bit of a pricey team, but if you're doing a mill a mill opening, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Alright, let's get Carl out. Can we get Dennis? We can get Dennis. We're knocking these players off the list quick. Uh, we'll get Joe Smith out. You know what, if I can shoot two threes with Dennis Rodman, I'm gonna do it. Imagine if Dennis Rodman didn't have glass cleaner takeover. Right here. There we go. Wow, we almost have all the starters already already taken care of here. I'm gonna go with the right stick once I get the PS5, because the controller that I use, the right stick, has a bit of a, a centering problem. Perfect. We get Brooke Lopez on the board with some free throws, hopefully. guy really wants to pick and roll it. There you go. Silly goose. I've actually used this uh, this pink diamond Spencer Haywood before. Let's get Karan. There we go. Channing? Ah, oh, you suck. Wow, the lag there. Not helpful. Uh, you know, you gotta... I gotta give him credit, he's trying pretty hard. Uh, oh, I scored with Jeremy. Right? But I'll do it again. I'm not, you know, I'm not against it. Like when the PS5 goes live. Spencer Haywood dunks all over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Smith, boom. Oh, this lag. Please go in. Yeah, Channing Fry. Yeah, live with that. Spencer Haywood is, I think, my top rebounder right now. Oh, man! Shot that with a stick, too. Uh, Alright, so we're going into halftime down one. I think we've scored with everybody except Jameson and Hibbert. I haven't actually used this, uh, this Anton Jameson. There we go. Okay. Antoine Jameson. Getting it done. Oh, I can't. Wow. I thought for sure I was going to at least green that one. 
Oh, the lag. Oh, can we get that? Yes! We got we got Hibbert on the board here. Yep, okay, so everybody has scored. I'm lagging a little bit right now. He's definitely hurting. Hunter Haywood right now is making a strong MVP case. Antoine James? Uh, let's get Jeremy Lin out of here. Including this lag, holy shit. Dude, this Anton James is really good. Like a historic or something. Boom. Alright. Down three. Hopefully this lag goes away for the fourth quarter. If it doesn't, I'm at the point where I don't care if I win or lose any of these games ever again. I just want to score with every player and move on. And the less time I have to look at Lakers jerseys and courts, the, the better. There we go. Oh, the fucking lag, man. I mean, that shouldn't have gone in, but jeez. Algo shift. Lago shift. Oh my god, <laughs> just let me play the game. All I care about. I don't care if I win or lose, but I at least want to be able to play it. Anyone that has a name like my, like I'm goaded, you know that they got some insecurity going on. I don't care, I just want to dunk with Dennis. There it is. You know what? Dennis Rodman, MVP. Dennis Rodman, MVP. I'm calling it. That'll do it. Um, we scored with everybody. Spencer Haywood might have been might have been MVP. Honestly, I'm gonna put another contract on Joe Schmo because we're gonna have to use him again. So this was the sort of Lakers. Um, I'm gonna give Dennis Rodman the MVP on this one. A lot of really good cards. Charlie Scott was actually really good. Anton Jameson another really good card. I mean, I expected it to be a really good team because it's it's the Lakers and they've had a lot of players go through. This has been number. F yeah. Anywhere between 9 and 13, or 14, I don't even know anymore. Sort of Lakers, um, got more episodes coming out, we're gonna try and finish all 30. They're probably gonna trickle as far as uploads go into the 2K21 season, but give you something to watch while you're playing Domination, right? Right? So, um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.